In this video, I'm going to be skating the Adapt brand Brutale skates for the very first time. This video is going to be about me skating them, my impressions. They are not made for me. I want to give a big thanks to Zach Smith. He's a local here in Oklahoma City who reached out and is going to let me skate his Adapt Brutales here. Uh, this video is about the skates. This video is not about any controversy that may be surrounding the company. My only goal here is to skate the skates and give an unbiased opinion on what I think. I'm not here to try to sell you anything. I'm not here to try to coax you. I'm just going to skate these rollerblades and let you know what I think about them. So if you're not that familiar with Adapt, if we go over to their website, we're going to look at the Adapt Classic Series Brutale Complete here. So they are 690 euros, which is about $736. Again, that's complete. These come with the, the, um, the Adapt Symmetrics frames, their wheels. And what's important to understand about Adapt skates is that they are made to order. This means that after you placed your order, your pair of skates will be made especially for you. During the pandemic, we have struggled. And so they say, hey, it may take a little bit of time. So during high season, could take about six to eight weeks. Um, we did a video pretty recently of, uh, of Sam Brownlee. He bought some adapts that are pretty wild. I'll show you a little bit of B-roll right here. But those were insane. And so I've always been very curious about how they skated. And I will get to skate them today. I'm probably not going to do like a long review on these. I'm going to do a few sessions and... Uh, Maybe a few. It might just be this one, depending on when um, Zach wants him back. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to roll around. We have a similar size foot. Whoops. We have a similar size foot. Um, we both wear like men's US nine and a half, right at nine and a half, ten. I put my foot in these and uh, they were a little bit snug. Again, I think these are all heat moldable, if I'm not mistaken. I believe these are heat moldable. I know Sam heat molded his, so they must be. <laughs> but anyway, I popped on my um, trying to wire stall, create original frames, favorite, favorite frames. And uh, yeah, so we're going to see how it fits. I am like, I, I did kind of adjust my socks. I'm wearing some really thin like dress socks to give me a little bit more space in the boots. So my toes weren't quite as cramped. And uh, I'm actually using the faction footbeds in here. He had some pretty thick sort of like really squishy insoles, uh, footbeds. So I swapped them out with the faction footbeds, which are a little bit thinner. He also has like a little small gel heel pad in the heel, just so you kind of have a good idea of, of what we're looking at here. So anyway, going to go to Matt Hoffman Skate Park in uh, here in Oklahoma City and get a first sort of impression on the Adapt Brutale custom skate here. I guess custom classic. I will link uh, to everything I talk about in the description below. We're going to go roll around. I'm a little bit sore. <laughs> so I feel like I say that in most videos. But anyway, we're going to roll around. I'm going to get my first impressions. Stay tuned. I will let you know what I think at the end of the video. If I'm not mistaken, I've seen people put the carbon cuff on faction. Yeah, it's like if you've ever ran a snowboard boots. Yeah. Kind of the same feeling. Actually, the sizing... I
All right. So I skated for between somewhere close to three hours, which is pretty typical for most of my sessions. So we're going to go over some of my key takeaways on the Adapt Brutales here. I like to start off with like fit, feel, and comfort. So as far as fit goes, these are a US men's size nine, uh, which, check, which checks out US, uh, I'm sorry, EU 42, UK eight. And I mentioned earlier, as far as fit goes, they do feel very snug. Um, at least initially they did. Once I took out um, Zach, thanks again, Zach, for letting me uh, borrow these. But once I took out that fat um, kind of insole he had and put on some thin sock, the fit was actually really good. Very comfortable skates. The only thing that I started to have issues with was on the inside ankle bones, the, the, the middle ankle bones, your medial malleola. I started to get some friction to where like I knew that if I skated these every day, you know, over and over, that I would start to get uh, some blisters on the middle ankle bones. Overall, like as far as fit goes, it was actually... It's actually pretty darn good. They're very light and responsive skates. They're made, I think it's called Dialin. It's like sort of a carbon fiber sort of spin-off cousin of carbon fiber or so, but um, very responsive skates for sure and very light. These are on par with the Aeons as far as, as lightness. I, I guess I should back up. The overall general feel is, man, I skated for almost three hours. The first two hours were sort of just getting acquainted with the skates. These are not, to me, these are not some of those skates that you pop, you know, that you pop on. And you just, they are completely intuitive and you just go to town for me. Um, these took like two thirds of the session was me like figuring them out because they are, they are like stiff. These skates are not doing you any favors with like boot down or top side tricks, which was what I was nervous about because like, I mean, they are, they're, they're stiff skates. Obviously you can adjust sort of the flex ish, if you will, um, with these power straps. And then I did laced i did skip the top eyelet for what it's worth so uh i knew i was gonna going into this i knew i wanted a little bit of flex as far as the power straps go i um i kept them i didn't over tighten them i didn't keep them loose on purpose i just sort of tightened them appropriately and it was a it was a good good thing but the thing is like i said again you can't cheat with these skates they're going to force you to use good technique on those boot down tricks and those top side tricks so they're going to force you to to use your body and not just let the skate do the work like the factions coming from the factions, which are, which are a pretty flexy boot. They have a pretty flexy cuff. These are like the antithesis of flexy factions, right? If you want to have those good grinds, you're going to have to contort your body, use your body, use your knees and hips and get low and make those grinds look good to actually get boot down. These are unlike anything I've ever skated for sure in terms of feel. Like um, I, I kind of was alluding to it earlier, but again, I don't know if it's the, the material or, or, or whatever it is, but they're a very unique beast when it comes to sort of feeling them out. And I can't quite put my finger on why. But like I said, um, the first two hours, we're kind of getting acquainted with them, getting to know them. And then the last hour was just, let's go to town. Obviously, like this was just a one single three hour session. It's hard to really extrapolate, get some really long term impressions. But obviously, that's what this video is about is just my initial impressions, first session impressions on these skates. As far as overall quality, I mean, you know, you hear people talk about it. These are, are you know, handmade skates. They're expensive skates and you can just tell why they're so expensive because i mean they have that really handmade quality feel that you would expect and so it's no surprise that uh you know they're expensive and and they feel like it you know they feel like a handmade sort of tailored skate here which they are coming down to the sole plate and i also see why um these sole plates have a very strong following they are uh they're they're pretty damn great. I think people will throw these on carbons. I mentioned earlier, maybe, but because this is a flat boot skate, people will just buy these sole plates and put them on their carbons or put them on their whatever. But they are crazy fast. I think they're very appropriately sized. Um, they're not massive, but they're not small by any means either. I think they're actually like really well sized. I did some negatives. Were great. Um, I believe they are UMH UHMW. Uh, so they're going to be super durable. Of course, the crates on there were fantastic. The backslide groove, I think Zach did actually put on some preventative like resin here or like kind of a glue ish stuff just for to prevent like abrasion, I guess. Zach should have asked him. But anyway, backslide groove, every, all of the groove tricks felt really nice and locked in. So I guess like big takeaways are um, it's a unique animal. Like it's going to take time, at least for me in my experience, it's going to take time to get to know these and figure them out. Um, they are super light. They're super responsive, but they're super stiff as well. Um, so you're going to have to play with it and play with your technique if you're not already like super dialed to uh, to to get those top side and boot down tricks. Soul play it super fast, um, you know, because it's hard to tell after a three hour session, but it's tough to say. I feel like I need more time with them if I'm being honest. I think they're good. I'm not in love with them. 
I don't dislike them. I don't know. I think they warrant just more time. And uh, I will say one thing is like some skates that I use kind of this was one actually big takeaway. And this will be my last point. Sorry, I'm sort of rambling here, but there's some skates that I put on. Like if you've been watching the channel, you know, like I like to do switch ups. That's sort of like, especially on P rails. That's just sort of what I like to do is switch ups. And there's some skates that just naturally feel like they want to do switch ups. Like there's just like ass telling you, let's do some switch. I don't know why. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but these are not those skates. For some reason, these skates were more of like, let's do one. And I don't know why I'm why this occurred to me. And I hope it hope it makes sense. I don't know if it does, but Maybe it's because they're stiff. These skates to me when I was skating them was like, I just got the feeling of like, hey, let's not do a bunch of tap dancing. Like, let's just do one trick nice and smooth and dial it in. Like I wasn't being lured into doing switch ups, which I thought was pretty interesting. Once I started figuring them out, I did. I started doing switch ups, sure. But overall, um, yeah, I think that might be to do with the flexibility. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna let, leave it there. Again, if you want to check out Adapt, you can check out their link in the description below if you want to go check them out. And uh, yeah, thanks again, Zach Smith, for uh, let me borrow your factions here. I do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, roller bitters. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing. It helps get rollerblading out to more people here on YouTube and. With that, Roller Bitters, I will see you on the next video. Take care. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Without your help, this would not be possible. If you want to support the channel through Patreon, check out the link down in the description below. And check out the video on the screen. I'll see you over there.